All right, so I ran into a situation the other day where I actually had to worry about what my WSL2 uh, memory allocation was and how I was going to get access to it, right? So in this, it turns out the WSL and the Docker backends, which really run on WSL. So in my case, I had a 64 gigabyte machine. I had a 64 gigabyte Python program. I needed eight gig of memory for my Docker uh, Elasticsearch instance. And then I needed one at eight gig of memory to run the host system. So if I said, and I knew that my Docker instance needed eight gig, and I knew that my host needed eight gig, and I knew that I needed 64 gig of total memory to run the Python program in the WSL. And it turns out uh, the Windows subsystem is pretty cool. And it, well, it's cool in a bunch of ways, but it uses dynamic memory. So what I can actually do is set the maximum size and it will, and so, It'll, it'll grow up to be that maximum size, right? And I actually could overcommit and just assume because of the work I'm done, everybody's gonna not gonna max out. So my, what actually happens is when you run a Docker desktop data or a Docker desktop backend or a Linux dev environment, they all set their max size to 50% of memory, which is 150%. But you know they're not all gonna grow that big, so you're good, right? And, um, and then the swap space for all of those is set to 25% of whatever the RAM is. So the 64 gigabyte Windows machine, I end up with 16 gig of Windows swap space. On a 32 gig Linux environment, because it's 50% of physical, the default WSL max is 50% of physical. So if you have 50% of physical, that means it was a 32 gig max on the WSL2, right? And I need 64 gig. I know I can't have it all in physical because I got to leave some for the Docker part and I got to leave some for the Windows part. So what I needed was 48 gig of memory dedicated to WSL and I needed 16 gig of swap because that would give me 64 gig, which is what I had a 64 gig Python program with the data space. But as you can see, the Linux subsystem would have only given me 32 gig and it would have only given me an eight gig swap, right? What I really needed is to double, or is to make this 48 gig and this to be 16 gig. Why didn't I put this in this diagram? Anyway, this is the default for my machine. And then it turns out you can actually change those maximums and the swap space. And that's really all this article is about. If we look here at idle, right, on a 64 gig machine, you can see that the free memory, the amount of memory total allocated to any Linux subsystem is gonna be 32 gig, 50% of the RAM and 25% of that in swap. So that only gave me 40 gig and it looked so close like it was going to work. And I kept running it and tweaking it and then I figured out what the problem was. So if I were to change the default and I'll show you how in a minute, there's actually two ways and I'm only going to show you one. I needed 64 gig of memory and because I only have a 64 gig machine only, I decided to make my 64 be a combination of 48 gig of memory and 16 gig of swap. And after the configuration, I ran this free dash M and you can see that it's 48 gig of memory and 16 gig of, gig of swap, and that gives me the amount of memory I need. And then when I ran my program, so I can't get both of those on there. Yeah, I ran the program, right? It turned out, so here you can see only 96 uh, meg used, right? Um, and so this is idle. When I actually ran the program, and the program needed like 60 gig of memory plus other stuff, right? You can see here that we actually used 45 gig of memory and 16 a swap. So I had like three gig left. And right? so this is 50, 61 gig. It turned out this program took. And the only reason it worked is because I changed it from the defaults, right? The defaults were 32 and eight and I needed 48 and 16. It turns out all I did was create a WSL config and you put this in your Windows home directory. You create a WSL config all your WSL uh, instances and like the Docker instance, or I think also the WSL instances will all get whatever settings you put in this file. And this is all I did. You just put this in the .wsl config in your Windows home directory, WSL2, because that's what we're running. I set the memory max to be 48 gig, the processors to be eight. I have an eight core, 16 virtual cores in this thing. And, uh, and then I just set the swap size to be 16 and you stop Linux and you restart it. You're supposed to stop it, wait for eight seconds and restart. And when it comes up, you run free dash M, you should get the right size and you're good to go. 
And that's it. So if you decide you need something other than the default for WSL memory, create a WSL config and think about how your memory is allocated and what you need to do and how much swapping you want or how much RAM you maximum you wanted to any of these. Remember, they can always shrink, but they can never grow beyond their mask. I hope, Max, I hope that's helpful. Have a great day.